So we're here with Bastian hey. at the uh, Synthony booth, and you've got a visual synthesizer. Yeah. Yeah, tell us about it, Bastian. Mm. What is it? So, yeah, it's kind of the same principle as uh, audio synthesizer, but the main thing is the bandwidth is really higher to produce video. And, uh, yeah, for example, to make patterns, we're using oscillators. And so changing the frequency of the oscillator, we make it we make the patterns uh, sm smaller patterns. And then how it works if, is we have three signal, uh, which are the R, G, and B component of the picture. And by uh, wave shaping it and filtering it, and yeah, we'll get different color shades and that kind of stuff. Excellent. And is there kind of like an initiation patch? Mm. Is there like, like where do you start? Oh with yeah, this? maybe I can unpatch quickly and show you something. Yeah, that would be great. I mean, it looks beautiful. Sorry to destroy oh, no, no, your no, no, That's beautiful the beauty artwork. of modular. <laughs> so unpatching about a million cables there. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it'd be great to see how it builds up, and then yeah. maybe we can uh, yeah. So yeah, basically here it. I got a SOTUS oscillator, and so it will produce, uh, since it's a SOTUS, it's slowly decreasing from the maximum to the minimum. Right now it's uh, synced to the vertical sync, so we got horizontal bars, but once I sync it to vertical, uh, horizontal, I got vertical bars, right. and uh, I can use a LFO to modulate the, the frequency, and so, the f when the frequency is higher, we got uh, the cycles repeats uh, more time in, a, in the space of a line or of a frame. And if I modulate it with a triangle wave, we we'll start seeing the, the triangle appearing. And this is the, the sine wave, kind of, yeah, wow. like a square wave. And then it's, right now we're only sending the oscillator to the red input, so we only have like a black and red uh, monochrome uh, picture. But then I can use other oscillator to get into the green inputs. And so now we start having overlapping colors. So we got a bit of yellow, a bit of orange, because the green and the red starts to blend. And I can uh, use another waveform to modulate it, like a sine wave. Great. And when you say oscillator, you're talking about a visual, yeah, a visual yeah. oscillator. It's the same principle as for audio, but the main thing is that uh, there's a, uh, it needs to be synced. So to the there's two si uh, sync signal, the frame sync, which is the beginning of a pi of the whole frame of the whole picture, and the horizontal sync, which is the beginning of each line. And so it's a way for the oscillator to uh, start exactly when the, the the line or the picture starts, and because if I'm using, uh, uh, let's remove the, so it, right now it's synced, but if I unsync it, you will see that the horizontal bar will start scrolling. Oh yeah. And so yeah, you can find some spot where it doesn't scroll too much, but yeah, if you want a static uh, pattern, you need to have it synced, and this way it really starts when the, the system. And yeah. how, how did you start? Uh, these I, at first, I was really into DIY audio, and uh, at some point, a friend tol uh, told me about um, c uh, circuit bending, but for video. And yeah, I was like, okay, I'm already doing visual on the computer. I'm already doing DIY audio, and that uh, kind of two hobbies that got merged. And I was like, oh, this is what I want to do. Great, great, great. And yeah, also right now I was uh, showing how to synthesize visual, but it can also process video f uh, video from a camera. So. And so yeah. So right now it's just passing the feed from the camera, the normal core, but I can start to uh, process it so it gets more interesting. What's the processing that you're doing? What are you plugging I'm in? I'm using there? it's a it's a um, quantizer, so it will take the incoming signal and uh, and reduce it to. Uh, uh, it, 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 it take a continuous signal and take uh, eight value out of it, like a quantifier for audio. 
and uh, that gives this uh, it limits the number of co of possible color and then I can uh, there's a bit swap feature which swap the bits and so it starts getting like a coloriza colorization effect and it's something that can be uh, CV modulated so I can use a LFO to modulate the the change Excellent. Wow, that looks cool. Really nice. Really nice, man. And are there, these are all separate modules then, I take it? These are all oh, separate? Excuse modules. me? These are all separate modules to purchase. Yeah. Uh, mm. So, yeah, d where do people buy them from? And, uh, uh, I, I, uh, them? I, I sell them through my website, mostly in, in the EU. But then I got a few retailers in the UK a couple in the EU and also in the US. And uh, the I, I started doing DIY modules, so they're also available as uh, PCB sets oh, nice. for people to build them. Amazing. And, uh, Great. And so can you just quickly, can you quickly run us through the different modules? Like what is the difference yeah, I, between, uh, say, this module and this yeah. module? So the, 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 the new one I'm showing today uh, is the Animate, which is a quadrature oscillator, a low frequency oscillator. So that's what's uh, making the animation we're seeing right now, like the slow, yeah, kind of slow changes. And uh, this one is the posterizer, so that's the the one that makes the effect we can see right now. And then the, for the other one, I got uh, Sotus oscillators that are syncable to video to generate the patterns we've seen at the beginning of the of the video. Then I got the this is the ancestor of the newer LFO, so it's also a quadrature uh, LFO. And then yeah, the the main module for video is the video output module because it's the one that will uh, encode the RG and B signal into composite or component signal that can be displayed on a, on a, on a monitor or captured. Yeah. And then the, the other module that is quite essential is the, the input decoder. It takes the signal from the camera and makes it into uh, uh, RGB over the jack to be used into the modular system. It's and uh, it's not used here, but it's a glitch circuit, so it's mostly like a um, distortion pedal, but for video, and so I can show it quickly. Yeah, please do. So processing one of the one of the channels, and that's what's make the wiggly line you got here. Oh, nice! Great, man. And can they be triggered? Can they be triggered by other modular gear? Does it respond to gates mm. and trigger? Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, the you you can use. I, I'm doing uh, audio visual jams, and uh, I'm taking signals from uh, the audio modular, like envelopes or LFO from the, the audio, to modulate the video. And this way, you got a really like a synesthetic kind of uh, experience because you got the the s uh, signal used to make the audio that also influence the the video. And uh, also, I'm using uh, the. LZX sensory translator, which is a five-band five, five band, uh, uh, equalizer with envelope followers. And this way, I can get only like kick dr the envelope of the kick drum to have the video react to it. Nice. Amazing. And, uh, and yeah, then the main thing uh, with video is that uh, it uses uh, the video standard is uh, 0 one to 1 volts, whereas for audio, it's uh, uh, either 0 10 volt or plus 5 minus 5. So mostly, most of the time, you'll need to attenuate the signal coming from the, from the audio rig. Uh, yeah, There's yeah, no yeah. risk for the, the video module to take a full scale signal, but it just it will be clipped, so the modulation won't be really like, yeah, you won't have the full modulation. So. Clip it. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for showing them, Bastian. We're welcome. Really Thanks really for pleased to look me. at them. <laughs> thank you.